am still buzzing about the Euro draw. Really looking forward to that, actually. Cannot wait. I've had messages from people who have booked their flights out there. And it's... it's look, we've waited for this for a long, long time. Somebody said in the comments yesterday uh, that it's going to be a bad run for us. That it's, um, it's, it's not going to be a good march. Because we've got, apparently, Sevilla, Liverpool, Sevilla, then Tottenham. And I looked at it and I thought, well, hold on a second. And... Then I thought back to 10 years ago. I had to go and check the fixtures. But sort of 10 years ago, in, in March 2012, it was Doncaster Rovers. I think we played Middlesbrough, Cardiff, Peterborough. You know, um, bring it on. Bring it on. This is what we want, surely. They're not unbeatable, almost. They're really, really good. But I'm massively looking forward to this. And, uh, and I ca cannot wait. Obviously, I can't fly out there, but I'm really looking forward to the return leg. And what it would be magnificent is if we are in that return leg, we're still in the game. If we, whatever, I don't know, even if we get a 1-0 loss away from home or whatever the case may be, or a draw, I imagine a win, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? But if we're still in the game, when we get them back to London Stadium, the atmosphere, and this is what it's all about, really, the atmosphere is going to be really special. It's going to be a special night, and surely that's what it's about. It's about making memories. The crowd will be right up for that. I cannot wait for that. Cannot wait. Really looking forward to it. Um, it's in the calendar, 17th of, uh, of March, hopefully. If not, I'll put it in the calendar wrong. I had a little bet. I'll share it with you. Because what I don't want to do is become rich on my own, right? So, um, it's nothing to do with West Ham, really. It's just a... So, I, I put this together. 25p bet. Um, I do this all the time, by the way. But I thought I might start, start sharing it with you. I'm never victorious. It never wins. But one day, it might. One day, it might. You know what I mean? Um, uh, Tottenham to win 2-0. Uh, Brentford, Newcastle draw. Brighton to win 1-0. Burnley to win 1-0. Uh, Man United, Watford draw. Man City, 3-0 win. 25 pence, 150 grand. <laughs> there you go. What what's not to like about that? Um, I've, I've pushed. My, I normally just do a ten pence bet, so I've gone I've gone big on this one. But the odds weren't quite in my favour. I do sometimes do a bet, and I'll do all the fixtures on the weekend, and I'll put like ten pence on, and it'll get me I don't know six hundred, seven hundred grand, something like that. Buy, buy a lot, of, buy a lot of pinball machines um, with that. Anyway, um, so so that's my bet uh, for there. Um, I just also wanted to uh, speak briefly about the contract rebels and when I say the contract rebels a couple of days ago I did a video and it was about Johnson it was about Suchek and it was about uh, Declan Rice um, all of whom have been offered new deals they haven't I just wanted to say that I because there were a few comments on there I think they're all I don't want to do this blanket thing over all of them I think they're three very very different reasons I think Declan is not signing these contracts because of ambition I think Suchek is not signing his contract for positional reasons. He wants to be an attacking player rather than a defensive one. I think Johnson hasn't signed his contract because he's unsure that he's going to play. I think he wants first-team football. So they're all three very different reasons. I just <clears throat> excuse me, wanted to um, wanted to make my point on that. Bit of Bob Fleming there for anybody. Anybody that knows? Any Fast Show fans? Bob Fleming. Um, right, what's the news? Look, Gio's already done his video about... Um, about Luis Diaz. Why would he release this information? Why Why would David Moyes say this? Um, I know I say I often don't believe Moyes, but I, what I mean is I don't believe him in the build-up to games in terms of who's injured and, and stuff like that. I think he's trying to play a little bit of mind games with the opposition manager. I don't, but, but I don't think David Moyes is an outright liar. I, I'm pretty sure if that's the case that he would have been interested in Luis Diaz um, because he said so. But what is the benefit of putting the news out there? I think it's for us. I, 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 that's what I think the news is for, to try and calm us down and say, look, we were in for players. We are highlighting players. We are looking at good players. Um, shame we didn't get him. There's not much more point talking about it beyond that, but that's the case. Also, just I, I didn't speak about this £100 million um, war chest that David Moyes let slip to the um, Kidderminster assistant manager who then went on and told the Kidderminster manager who then went on and told the press. Um, again... I'm sure David Moyes said something. I can't see the benefit. Why would somebody who is naturally secretive then come and start become gobby? I I don't I don't know. It's clear we had some money. It's absolutely clear we had some money. Um, how much? I don't know. 
I don't know. Um, and the other thing on the video the other day, I, I, it was just an example that we had 80 million. I did say before that it's just an example. I don't know. Sometimes you have to use an example. You have to pick some money or pick a player. Just use that as an example to uh, to talk about the subject. Um, I don't know how much we had. I really don't. I don't know how much we're going to have in the summer. My point was, let's just pretend it's 80 million. Do I think that Kratinsky's going to top it up to 200 million? The answer was no. That doesn't mean I think we got 80 million. I had to pluck a figure from somewhere. It's better than a fiver. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or 25 pence, if you know what I mean. Um, West Ham interested in Cisco. Cisco. Cisco's the Cisco's the rapper, isn't he? The singer. Cisco, that's the wrong one. Um, the, the thong song, the thong, the thong, thong, thong. There you go. Um, Drew Hill, Cisco, not him. Definitely not him. Um, Isco. <laughs> I don't think that's the first time I've done that, actually. Um, uh, anyway, so he's, he plays around Real Madrid. Well, sometimes I don't play that often, actually. Um, he's twenty nine. I don't think so. I don't. <clears throat> I don't think we're off. I, I just don't think we're interested in. Isco or Jay Z or anybody else, quite frankly. J Rod, more likely J Rodriguez. Don't really fancy him much either. Okay, so uh, anyway, the point is the club via uh, under the uh, un under the radar sources have said we ain't we ain't interested in him. <laughs> and David Moyes goes, it's it's Diaz. We want Diaz. Uh, who else we got? What else is is in the news? Um, oh oh, this is this is a. Um, this is an interesting one, because I believe this to be true, because I think I've been saying this for a long time. Um, Manchester United have entered the race for West Ham goal, West Brom goalkeeper Sam Johnston. Doing well today, aren't I? Why would they? I mean, he's on a free transfer. I, I, we are we are in for him. We're definitely in for him. I, I've, I've, as I maintain, for the moment Areola's been in, we ain't signing Areola. We're going to try and sign this guy. I just hope David Moyes don't put all his eggs in one basket uh, with this one. Why would he go to Man United? He, he is... I mean, De Gea is, is in some scintillating form at the moment. It's not what Johnson needs now in his career. He's 28. Now is the time to really try and... I think it's going to be hard for anyone to become England's number one um, with Pickford there. But to, to put yourself, you know, just under there in case um, Pickford gets injured. Maybe he does that. Then he goes and injures Pickford or something like that. And then he becomes England number one. There you go. That's a bit tactical, isn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me, a bit... bit you know what it is? It's the pollen. You wouldn't think it. It's, it's pollen. There's a little bit of blossom on the tree. I've not taken a fever tablet. Silly me. Um, I've got one word for you lot. Schick. Patrick Schick. He scored lots of goals. 20 goals in 20 league games. You know the fella. Uh, he scored a wonder goal, didn't he? Um, in the summer. Um, I'm sure if he scored 20, he's probably scored some more wonder goals. Can't claim to have seen them. Uh, striker. He is obviously the teammate of, of all our... Of, of all our boys, um, Sue Check and Sue Fowl and Crow, not really our boy. Crow is he anymore? Oh, they're not going to be. Seventy million, seventy million. Leverkusen want. Well, you can you can forget that. Again, he's, he's one of these players. I want to have my little say on this actually, just before we um, before we go, because we're, we're around the sort of about the limit for the video. Um, when I looked at him, I didn't necessarily see a player. It's not I don't think he's a good player. I do. But whenever I look at a player now, I think, is David Moyes going to use him? That's really important. It's really important whether David Moyes uses someone. Because David Moyes has been speaking about Sebastian Haller. Sebastian Haller is a fantastic player. But he's not going to operate in David Moyes' system because he stays, he stays far too central. He's not quite mobile enough. That's not what David Moyes wants. He does not want that as his striker. And that's why. And to be fair, as I've said on a few times... It, David Moyes should have been tactically flexible enough to make it work. So he should have been able to get a tune out of Haller. He should have been able to change formation and do something. But he didn't. So we have to accept that's what he is. Chicharito's a great goal scorer. I didn't want to use him either, be it West Ham or Man United. And when I looked at... Um, it's a great name. Valt Veghorst, right? Valt Veghorst. Um, people are saying we should have gone and bought Valt Veghorst. Um, I don't know why I've gone German with it, but it sounds right to do that. Um... I looked at him, and I, again, I think he's a really good player. But he always wouldn't have played him. He just wouldn't have done. You have to look at this. We have we have a stubborn manager who is very, very set in his ways. Um, and Like I said, Ben Rama the other day, wrong wrong player at the wrong time under the wrong manager. You, you, you've got to be careful with a striker. You don't get that. And when I look at Schick, as, and he is a Schick player, when I look at him, I think very good. Very, very good. But... But doesn't strike me as a David Moyes type player. He he, he just doesn't. So um, 
What's the point? Uh, I guess, what's the point? I'm signing another player for loads of money who David Moyes isn't going to sign. We've got to let him pick the guy that he wants. If, if that's his team, if this is his blueprint, if this is the way he's got, he's going to play, let him pick his players. Obviously, Sebastian Heller wasn't his player. We suspect that Ben Rama wasn't his player. Don't bother. Um, he ain't going to play him. He ain't going to play him. So I look at that and I think, good, good striker. A really good striker. But no, probably, probably not one that's going to... Anyway, 70 million. We can't afford it. We've already established that the budget's 80 million. I um, wonder if anyone comes back and quotes me on that. would be good. Um, I know the, the mischievous amongst you will certainly quote me on that one. Anyway, um, have a good day. Enjoy spending all the money from your bet when it comes in. We'll go on holiday together. Be nice. Be nice, wouldn't it? Eh? Be good. Maybe, but you know what? Even if it doesn't happen, you're only 25 pence down. Uh, I'll catch up with you tomorrow.